Welcome to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're gonna continue my let's play of Help Will Come Tomorrow because I'm really, really, really enjoying this game. I hope you do too. So because we have light snowing and everybody seems to have a lot of actions, we're gonna try to put everybody into the expeditions because, voila, we've got a lot of interesting events that could happen. So we'll try to do that. But first things first, we gotta take care of our hunger and thirst. So, we've got some bugs. Let's try to have everybody eat two bugs and hopefully it will help us with the hunger. So it fixed Arcus and Robert. Juju's and me are still hungry though, even after the bugs. I think giving more bugs would probably call us, cause us indigestion or something. So let me try to eat honey. And we'll do the same with Juju. So nobody is uh, hungry anymore. We're gonna also give some drink to two of us and we'll tell, we'll tell Juju's to get some more water for everybody. Is good. Great. And we're going to tell Robert to gather strength so he sort of takes care of his hypothermia so that I can grab him and send him to the expedition. And we're gonna start this off. We're gonna start an expedition with me and Sir Arcus as always. And we'll give Sir Arcus um, a knife. Me, a hammer, him, a knife. We'll grab the oil lamp even though it's kind of useless. Actually, we're not going to grab it. We're not going to grab the hammer either because it takes up space. So I forgot about it. it takes up space. So let's move towards this insignificant. See if we can find some event here. Okay. There's a bank not far from you. Hide behind a snow heap and look out carefully. You can hear screams on the other side of the wreck followed by more shots. Tags are probably chasing other survivors. You clench your teeth. May the unfortunates not lead the killers to you. You want to see what happens. Suddenly, you see a crawling man next to the tracks. Although Severe has left its marks on him, you can tell from the clothes that he is not one of the renegades, and he must have traveled by train like you. The voices of the renegades seem to be moving away. Hey, I think he went this way! Alright, go faster! We've probably got the wrong track or run after someone else. However, the poor man has been shot in the stomach and you don't think he could survive. If you take him away, he will leave a very visible traces of blood. I'm not leaving him here. I'm not leaving him here. Ooh, we found Xemex Rabinovich, otherwise known as Alexei. I will not sell myself cheap. The man threatens when you run up to him. You let him you let him know with a gesture to be quiet, temporarily stop the bleeding and help the unfortunate man to get up. With your help he is able to go and does not even make any sounds of pain. The days spent in the tag have already had to toughen him up properly cover up as much pulse as he can and head towards the camp. So unfortunately that means, do we still have action points? We lost some action points, we actually couldn't do much exploring. It's alright, we're gonna send another group, we're gonna grab Juju's and Robert, we'll give them a knife and we'll send them out. So let's go to this area, it's safe. Loss probability is low, so that's good. Ooh, they found quite a lot of stuff, that's good. We'll move here to this insignificant, we can find some berries. Ooh, we've got some animals, so we'll try to go there. Lost a little bit of action points, not too much stuff. Let's try this. Barely come out to a more open air and suddenly a hair leaps from the nearby clump. Started throwing a knife at it. Can't believe it, the throw each dragon an animal fell dead. Oh, it will be a good pay. Yes. Good job, boys. We'll go here. Ooh. We'll try this, but then we'll go home. And worry about the lost probability. We found some stone. Okay. Yeah, okay, we gotta go home now. Let's go home. They found a lot of food, which is amazing. Now, we've got a new guy. We've got Alexi or Xemex, and Xemex is bleeding. So I or either me or Sir Arcus need to take care of him. So we're gonna try to grab Sir Arcus, I think. Uh, we need to create a wound dressing, I believe. That's what helps bleeding. No. Bandage. Oh, we've got nothing for a bandage, though. Wound dressing. We don't have anything on that either. Wound cleansing. I don't know if that's going to help him. Yeah, 
Well, actually, it, yeah, it would help with the infection. We could do the wound, clean, wound cleansing, but I don't think he can do it himself. So we're gonna have to grab... Yeah, he can. He doesn't have an action point, so we're gonna have to do it next turn. Now, in the meantime, we've got, like I said, we've got a few actions, so we could either try to upgrade something or build something. I think we need, like, more defense, because the camp visibility seems to increase over time. Let's get a fence. It reduces the damage of the camp structures caused by bad weather. In addition, it provides everyone the camp with additional wind protection. Do we have enough of this? We've got just enough of sticks and needles. We do have enough stone. We've got enough everything. And we could grab a hammer and send me and Sir Arcus to do it together. So we actually like working together, so it increases my camp morale and my personal morale as well. And we have a chance that because... No, actually the, the optional tool increases the quality. It doesn't give us a chance that we, we would recover an action point. But Arcus actually did recover an action point. We learned that he's a trapper. This character has a chance to gain action points from the setup traps action and the snares set by them have a better chance of capturing animals. Very nice. So we could create a marked path. Thanks to knowing the area, fast trips beyond the camp, providing a small number of basic resources are possible. Oh, this seems fantastic. Snares makes it possible to set up traps which have give a chance to catch smaller animals. We have an action check snares and palisade. Further reduces damage to the camp structures caused by bad weather. I really like this marked paths. We can build that this turn. But over time, we definitely should try, because that would be amazing. So we have one more action left with this guy, with Sir Arcus. I could either make him... I could make him cook the food, roast the animal we've got. No, we need two people for that. So let's just let him just... Uh, do we want to repair something? That's my question. This seems to have 29%. Maybe we'll repair this. If we've got the resources, we do. We'll give him the hammer and we'll let him repair it. Fix it, please. Oh, did he just get bleeding and things like that? I think he did. Yeah, get a hand wound and he's now bleeding. Yeah, well, we can't really treat it right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send him to sleep with... I'm kind of freezing, so I'm gonna put... No, how is Xamex? Xamex is just bleeding. Yeah, we're gonna send Arcus and me, I think, to rest. Let's go and rest. Everybody else will just stay at home. Now, we could put some mold in the fireplace. We'll increase the visibility, though. So we're gonna try to do nothing. We'll see how it goes. It's a bit of a risk, but I don't want to increase the visibility. Once you wanted to sit by the evening campfire and rest after the hardship of the day, a part of the shelter protecting your medical points collapsed unexpectedly. Although you lack strength, you spend extra time replacing the rotten support and rearranging the sheeting. It's not the first time that one of you has such a weak branch in a crucial place. You look at each other reproachfully, with silent accusations. I don't know how to thank you. It is a miracle to meet other people who are still alive after all these days. He loves us all. <laughs> we did just save him, so it's understandable. Tell me quickly, what's with Petrusha? Do you know Pieta Petrenko? I owe him everything. He knew the train as the back of his hand, where to hide and where to find supplies. Where is my little brother? Have you left him to these butchers? It's not like that. We overheard their conversation. They knew that you hid in the forest and increased patrols. They were rascals with no conscience. They want to get rid of the witnesses because they're planning to return to the city a few days, I guess, and don't want anyone to recognize them. Well, where is my brother? They finally noticed our traces too. They shot me and Peta leaped into the woods to distract them. They followed him and soon you found me. We have to go help him. He's alone now. Yes, I agree. He's my brother. You must be his sister. He knew so you survived. He saw secret signs. He tried to leave on his own, but we had to run away from the bandits. I promise you, we'll go find him together. See where I'm at? That's the kind of reaction I wanted from me. Just so you know, okay? 
Yeah, we totally love him now. Game price is very much increased. Let's talk about Xemex some more. Dear comrades in misery, I don't want to worry you, but our situation is serious. <laughs> we know, man. We know. We have been through this before, okay? I know you're well educated, but we know. This character has received extensive education and can share useful curiosities in conversation. Good to know. Given the weather and our current diet, we won't survive long without fresh meat and aspirin. We're at risk of scurvy and a simple cold will weaken our bodies. Pfft. Aspirin? The darn German chemistry. You look like a scholar, so you know that primitive people lived without aspirin. And they died. Not even 30 year old on average. Because of a runny nose? Sometimes also because of scurvy. Must you be such a pessimist? Do you really think we will all die? Everyone? I don't know. I can see the beginning of scurvy in me. Oh, my tooth is moving. It's moving because you have hit your jaw on the floor during the accident. The shock during the collision may have caused me micro traumas, which will manifest themselves soon. Well, that's not great. It's a bit of a downer, okay? A new guy. Just a little bit. I think everybody's gonna be freezing now. All right, so we got to take care of the bleeding. So what I'm kind of and of the so we can see here that Semex is sick and bleeding. So let me try to care for him. I'm gonna grab him and myself, and I'm going to care for him to handle. Hopefully, it will help with the sickness. We'll see. I don't think it helps with the bleeding. I think for that we need the wound dressing, but I guess we'll see. Oh, it does help with the bleeding. Good. In that case, let's uh, do the same with Arcus. So we're going to grab Juju's, who's going to take care of Arcus. Good. Then I'm going to go on, it didn't help with the hand wound though. Do we want to do the food first? I think I'll go on the expedition. No, let's do the food first. So we're going to grab... I think we're gonna grab... The people are not gonna go on the expedition, so it cannot be Robert, because Robert... Maybe we'll send Robert on the expedition. We're going to grab Juju's and me. And we're going to cook... We're going to roast animal me and Juju's. Let's do it. Well, this increases camp morale, because he likes to work with me, which is pretty good. Oh, the fire level is not high enough. Alright, so let me start with that. I'm gonna use the mold. We'll try to get it as high as we can without increasing the camp visibility. Which should be now. And now we want to cook it. So let's do this again. Roast an animal. Me and Juju's. Yeah, that increases the local camp morale, which is good. Not my morale, but that's fine. I hope my morale is high. I don't actually know, but... Very good. What's my morale? Yeah, my morale is super high. Good, that went well, so let's make sure that everybody has some food. I'm gonna give it to Xemex. And to... Juju's. And to... Not Robert, but Arcus. And then we're gonna have garlic for Robert. And garlic for me. I'm gonna let Robert eat a few more bugs. Okay, fine. So everybody, nobody's hungry anymore. We'll do a, a round of drinks for everybody. We're still thirsty. Arcus and Robert. So Robert needs a drink. So we're gonna send Robert and Xemex on an expedition. Xemex and Robert. And we'll give them a knife. I kind of want to send Sir Arcus though. How is Sir Arcus doing? Yeah, he's, we're going to send Sir Arcus and Xemex. We'll do it like that. Because Sir Arcus is really good at like not getting lost and we need that. He has the hand wound which kind of worries me. Oh, and they both got close which is good. So we need to find stuff. So we want to go towards here. This is like an easy area. So let's search it. We didn't find too much stuff. Danger level, easy, average, safe. There's plenty of stuff here, even though it's average, so let's try it. Oh, we've got some animal here. Loss probability is getting pretty high, though. We'll try this anyway. The fox. 
The wind eased and the entire tiger froze. In the Siberian silence you can hear even the cracking of frozen trees and the murmur of soft snarling falling on the forest. You stop so that the creaking of the snow under your feet does not frighten away the big wood grouse lazily pecking the old stump. Suddenly a fox pops out of the snowbank. The hunt fails. The bird rushes to escape and the rabbit sniffs its nose in the snow. A dozen or so airstones from you. I'm gonna try to throw a knife at it? It wants chance and he failed. Never mind. We can search the area. Oof, a lot of stuff. Very good. Now the danger level here is easy, so we'll try this. We'll grab it all. Danger probability is really high here. But we still have two action points, so we'll try this thing. Although it is scared to wander the areas that renegades often patrol, you have decided that you must know the fate of young Petrusha. By the tracks, it was easy to see the signs of the chase, but the further into the forest, the worse it gets. You found two bullet shells, but no blood traces anywhere. That's good, because it means that the robbers missed. At some point, they probably separated. A larger group followed the boy, and one lone cutthroat seemed to be trying to surround the victim from the west. This, not bode, bode, not, this does not bode well. We need to find out. Uh, we're gonna check the tracks from the west. You reach a mossy trunk from swollen by a storm or a blizzard. Something unexpected happened here. The renegade who wanted to surround the fleeing Petrusha ran into a pack of wolves. You can see the gnawed up remains of the thud between the drifts. There's also a pistol with the lock that cracked. Disappointing. It's only at a critical moment. Maybe you can repair it? Yeah, let's search it a bit longer. Later in the more clear wood you came across a blood splash. Signs of a scuffle and a lot of wolf tracks. It was fired several times here with a rifle. The pack of wolves went north, so it cut the tracks. No bodies can be seen. If the text showed one or two wolves, they had to take their prey with them. What about Petrusha? Did the renegades get him, or did he end up in the jaws of wolves? We doubt more and more that he has survived, but for now we have to stop searching. And we're gonna take it. And we're gonna go home. Great, so we've got a lot of stuff, so hopefully... I would really like to upgrade this. In order to be able to have this, this actually not the skin the game thing. Where was it? Um, was it not here? It was with the palisade. It was with the palisade. Right. So here, marked paths. This is what I want. Thanks to knowing the area, fast trips beyond the camp, providing a small number of basic resources. So we've got the bones. We don't have enough sticks. Even if we try to do it makeshift. How about the snares? We've got enough for that. We do. Even if... No, only if you make it a makeshift one, but that's fine. Snares make it possible to set up the traps which give a chance to catch smaller animals. We'll use a hammer. And I'll do it... Robert will do it with... Me. Yeah, because we like to work together. And I have a chance to recover action point. We'll see if I can do it. Doesn't seem like I can. Still, we've got it. So we could now tell. I think instead of going trying and trying to do that, what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to use care to help with the freezing. So we're gonna tell Robert to gather strength for himself so he's not like, he doesn't have hypothermia. And then we are going to tell Robert, oh, he still has hypothermia. Well, either way, we're going to tell him to care for me. Treat me, please. Hope it will help me with my thing. It did help a little bit. I still hypothermia, though. Hmm. Well, either way, Arcus and me are going to get some rest. Because Arcus is exhausted and I have hypothermia. And we're going to tell Juju's eater to make more drinks for everybody. And I think we'll do that. Juju's make more drinks for everybody. I was going to say he might care for Albert, but I think right now it's probably better to just get a bit more water. Alright. We can't do any more to increase visibility. Could we help with anything else? I don't think so. Got hammer, broken pistol. Uh, 
I, I wonder if we were, were able to repair this the whole time because I thought we need to sort of upgrade this in order to be able to repair things like that. But maybe we can actually repair whatever tool we want. Oh, this is just a pair of structure tools. Yeah, it doesn't say. So we need to... Trap section, well-equipped workshop. Yeah, so this is what allows us to, to fix weapons, I presume. This is breaking materials. Yeah, so, so one of so yeah, so we have to upgrade. Okay, so I was right. Because I was for a second, I was like, wait, could we have used this the whole time? I don't think so. Something is lurking in the dark around the camp. You see a pair of eyes that ominously glance in our direction, slowly moving between the trees. Is this an amber leopard or maybe a lynx? The beast is certainly smaller than a bear, and a wolf would hardly wander alone. When you're wondering what steps are best to take in the event of an attack, the animal makes a quiet snore, and then the eyes disappear in the dark. Maybe in the morning, the traces will tell you who the mysterious observer was. Let's talk about Pieta. Tell me how you were with Petrusha. How did he manage after the disaster? Oh, he's a brave boy. He arranged clothes for us, knew how to light a fire. He sneaked under the renegade's noses unnoticed and brought treats from the trained painters only he knew. He talked a lot about you, Mr. Pokes, but he didn't doubt a minute that you were alive. I'd like to see him again. If he got along with you, I think we can also become friends. <laughs> you speak just like him. Let's talk about... Nowhere, man. He starts remind me of home. Where are you, where are you born, Xemex Rabinar Chief? Far from here. It is a small village in the Minx Governorate. But not far from Minx? I was stationed there in the 15... Let's say it. Even it's on Walmart River, but the front passed close. I don't know if my home still exists. Strange. I studied the staff meds and undercall such a place. Are you ashamed of your real home? You'll never stop being the military policeman, won't you? just like to organize everything in my head, just in case. In these times, we never know who we're dealing with. You suspect me of something, Captain. No, I'm just keeping an eye on you, Xemex Rabinovich. Interesting. Come on, 100%? Ooh, we're doing so well. What is this? A hawk took the easy way out and instead of hunting something, decided to steal a hair from your trap. Soon as you saw this, you rushed to the chase to rob our way, but managed to tear the snares apart severely. The good news is that you have the hair. The bad news is the trap placed by the palisade barely hold on. Ooh, but it's still cool. Alright, well I think that's it for this episode. Like I was saying, click on the right to watch the next one or you can click on the bottom to watch Wonderlust. I'll see you there. Bye bye.